Leave it 5 one turn right heading 180. The aviation industry has taken a massive hit over recent months following the global pandemic hitting. The 2020 Farnborough Air Show that takes place every second year was also cancelled. This is usually a hub for major aircraft orders in the hundreds, and orders have been simply not the same for the past 10 months. Carriers are now in need of new aircraft given the fact they're busy trying to fight for survival and secure crucial funds to stay afloat. Beginning with Boeing, I'll take a look at how they've been faring, which in all honesty hasn't been the best of late. The aircraft manufacturer is continuing to face trouble and feeling the brunt of the 737 MAX crisis, in addition to the global pandemic as well. These two major crises are something neither you or I could have a couple of years ago actually predicted. Thankfully, the road to recovery with the Boeing 737 MAX will begin now. However, it doesn't mean it'll be easy and the everlasting damage will be present considering the sheer volume of aircraft that is now being cancelled from the 737 MAX series as customers have either scaled back their plans with the type, lost confidence or simply gone elsewhere to look for a narrow body. There's many customers that were potentially moving towards an order for the Boeing 737 MAX but instead opted not to. These are effects Boeing will feel for a while. For November, Boeing delivered a total of only seven aircraft that included a 777-300ER, a 7478F, one P-8A, and then three other freighter aircraft. A sign of current times, as that number would have been a lot higher had they actually been delivering the Boeing 737 MAX, or more generally the 737 series. The aircraft manufacturer continues to also face problems with its Boeing 777X as well, which has been substantially adjusted and also therefore delayed in being delivered to customers, who now at this point, as you might be aware, are even questioning whether they need it at all. Moving across to Airbus, while they haven't fared as badly in a sense of not dealing with a crisis like that of the 737 MAX, they're equally facing their own battles. During last month, Airbus delivered an actual whopping 64 aircraft, which is a much more stable number to what it has been in the past 10 months. That has delivered the likes of the A220, one A330-900, and then seven of the A350s. Various aircraft within the A320 family were also delivered, with a total of 54 from that family alone. However, Airbus did not welcome in any new orders during the month of November, and instead, further orders were cancelled from their order books. With the following adjustments, their current net orders stand at 297. This is the number which is significantly lower than other years when a pandemic was not present. On top of all this, Airbus is currently in the process of saying goodbye to their Airbus A380 as they continue to produce and roll out their final A380s and also shut down production on an aircraft that realistically hasn't been in production for too long compared to other aircraft potentially that Airbus has worked on in the past. Even if you wanted to have a look at Boeing and the aircraft they've worked on like the 757s and 767s, while it is impossible to compare the capability of the A380 to these twin engine jets, you can still definitely look at the production sense and the time frame that it's taken from the opening up of it to the closure of it. Overall, the A380 had a purpose, but also was an aircraft that was quickly pushed to the side, with Airbus themselves introducing more efficient aircraft alongside Boeing, and in turn, it made the A380 effectively useless for the vast majority of carriers operating long-haul operations. The welcoming of this global pandemic, which of course is not a good thing, really put the final nail in the coffin for the Airbus A380 with many carriers worldwide, as they either removed all the type or removed a substantial amount going forward. Airbus and Boeing are both facing their own troubles and difficulties with, if we're trying to focus strictly on the comparisons, the pair are struggling to obtain orders, especially for wide-body jets. This is something that could continue for a while. What are your thoughts? Don't hesitate to drop them in the comments below, and always thanks so much for the continued support. It is greatly appreciated. Please do take care and stay safe, and I will see you all in the next video.